in a time long since past. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons and humans were powerless under their rule. Humanity's hope lived in a demon named Sparta, with a spirit unlike any other, and wielding the sword that bore his own name, Sparta eradicated the demons. Called? Till next time, son of Sparta. Hello, I'm Z, and welcome to Devil May Cry 2. Now, before we start, quick short thing is, I don't know anything about this game, but I've only heard that it's kind of the black sheep of the Devil May Cry series, and it's it might not be so good. I'm not completely sure the reasons of why it's not going to be that great, but I'm going to try and enjoy it to the fullest. Anyways, mission 1. Toward the north, the Hunter of the Dark Blood will realize his destiny. Guidepost for the Hunters, Chapter 1, Clause 3. Mission Start. right into it okay okay we can roll that's new I no longer have to aim to shoot with the pistols okay there's only one complete combo it seems uh, all right so if I can't do that and how do I interact with things okay oh, hey. red orb Red Orb, a crystal with condensed demon blood. Use it to gain new power. A hundred of them. Mm, nice. Yeah, so how do I interact with stuff if I can't actually? Do we still taunt on the right stick? No. The right stick no longer does anything. We don't taunt. Okay, this is this menu. And we have, oh, item. We start with a uh, Vital Star and Devil Star? Okay. Inventory seems weird. Amulet. Electro Heart. Adds lightning element to the attacks in Devil Trigger. Okay. Swords. Rebellion. A standard sword for Dante. Well, that doesn't say what it is, though. Handguns. Student pistols that fire magic bullets. Uh, is this no longer ebony and ivory? Okay. Very weird. Map. Oh, so I can only really go one way. Save. Does this actually save, or is it, like, in the mission as well? Just like the last one. So it saves the mission, but not my progress. 
I'm guessing this is not where I'm supposed to go. I, it is. Because I can see their stuff behind there. Okay. Secrets. Secrets everywhere, it seems. Dante sure looks different. I like how he looks, if that's one thing. And also that person at the start, I believe I can play as that character. Because when I started the game, it asked me, do you want to play as Dante or Lucia, I think was the name? And I was like, Dante, please. I like my boy. I like my, my son of Sparta. Okay. Yeah, okay, not completely unfamiliar, but it feels odd. I'll say that. Not necessarily bad, though, yet. So... Thankfully, that's good. So we're gonna have the same things where we like upgrade our stuff at a certain station, maybe? Oh, there we go. Blue orb fragment. A fragment with vital energy. Four pieces make one whole blue orb. Hmm. I see. Nice. Interesting scenery. So this takes place, I'm guessing, in the future by the looks of it. Dante seems more experienced, older. Ooh, very interesting first enemy. Uh oh, did he just respawn? I got a D for don't worry. Okay. Come on. Bingo. Okay. I already got a B, which wasn't have been the case in the original. Mm, interesting. I still have double trigger. Okay. That looks different. Devil Trigger is that other gauge now, okay. Very, very interesting. Okay, over there, there's another red orb. Oh, and an enemy. Oh, these things. Oh, yeah. Oh, it tells me the name of them now. There's more of them. Hmm. Nice. Nice. There's stuff in the river. Or, yeah, not really river, but the sewer. The drainage. Okay, the, the fact that I can roll now is interesting, but does that mean I can't interact with stuff? Because the interact button that was before, like, you know, for interacting with stuff, it's it's no longer X, so... A bit confused on that part. I accidentally used double trigger, which is fine. Yeah, so if I'm to interact with, like, this door, I don't know how I do it. Okay, that's... Definitely new. Whoa! That's some cool parkour skills I can do. Nice. Is this gonna be like a amnesia machine for big kind of like scenario here where stuff just feels very different? It's a completely different experience. It might. It might. It very well might. But so far, I like the enemy designs. Oh, I can't go out of bounds. Okay, game. Sure. Limit me all you all you want. This is the game that tells you which enemy you're locked onto now. Well, you're locked onto the ground enemy, so... Whoa. Some interesting movement in the air there. I look interesting, I got wings. Whoa! Okay. 
My guns sure seem to get a boost in Devil Trigger mode. Yeah. That's for certain. My guns sure seem to like Devil Trigger mode. Anything this way? Uh, this is gonna be annoying probably to watch because I am the kind of guy to go and explore everything. So, okay. I you see. We're, we get the, ma the Matrix moveset. I get it. Very nice though. I like it. I mean, I can't say I dislike wall climbing and jumping off and parkouring in the air. That, that's kind of cool. Oh, more enemies. This way. Or oh, no, behind. Yeah, I also thought it was behind. There we go. No, lock onto this enemy. There we go. All right. So. What are we looking for? Yellow orb? Mmm, yes. My favorites in the last game. Or a gold orb in this case. Crystal generated by immortals with the power of resur the resurrection. Yeah, I know what it is. I know what it is. Anything up here though? I mean, I don't think so, but let me just check. Oh, I can break these. Okay. I feel like I'm a little kid figuring stuff out for this first time again, because uh, this feels very, very different from Devil May Cry 1 so far. The only negative thing I, I, I think I'm finding so far is... Uh, I'm just ki kind of th randomly thrown into here with no explication, uh, explanation of why. And also my inventory looks kind of odd, I don't like it. Okay, I forced walls, but no longer the doors with hands on them, it's just like walls. Okay, it's still targeting this enemy, even though I was fighting a completely different one, and I shouldn't be able to I shouldn't be able to kill that. Slice, slice and dice. Kill that guy, now kill this guy. Can't even see him. Alright. That's all. Alright, no. Owie. That's it. Okay. Keep going. Oh, there we go. Here's the upgrade stations. Right, so how do I interact? Oh, B. Statue of a god that is controlling time. You can gain power for by offering red orbs. Swords. I can upgrade it by level. That's different. Guns. I can upgrade them by level. And also, they're no longer called Ibony and... Uh, no. Ebony and Ivory. These cost... Well... I can stack them and they're large and small now. Okay, they no longer just restore my entire HP. I see. Purify your body. I don't know that... I have no clue what that means. Uh, allow you to avoid enemy attacks up to three times. Okay. And then Resurrection. Blue Orb... Okay, just an entire blue orb, and then trigger gauge, purple orb. I don't have enough money for anything, so, you know, leave that there. Yeah, I see it. I was gonna go for it anyway, just let me look around for a second. Now that I know B button is the one to interact, I'm gonna look around. Okay. Sure, let's go up here. Oh, 
I'm fighting demon chimps. Let me get my Uzis or whatever these are. There's one over here. There's a lot of them. Also, one's invisible. Whoa, they, they can become invisible, I see. Oh, if I hold that button and... Oh, yeah, I can fight in air. Okay, nice. I think that's new. Like, the, the ability to, like, send enemies in the air. Okay. How many do I have to kill? Because it feels like I'm killing quite a lot of them. Oh, there we go. And, um, God dropped an item from the sky. That's nice. Moondus? No, what is this? Key. Of course. A key to unlock an iron bar door. But guess what? It's no longer rusty. We no longer have the rusty keys. We have the normal keys. Why is this so odd? No, this wall feels odd. It's, it's so green. It feels like it should be a secret. Use the key. Okay. to this way. Okay. Okay. These enemies are very static, I feel. But I guess they are supposed to be the marionette equivalent. Although you make such a cool looking enemy and you make them so weak though. I really like the design of these captains. Also, I haven't seen any of them drop green orbs, so that kind of worries me. I don't quite want to go the way of main stuff. It just loops me back around, right? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Do I gotta destroy this before they stop spawning or what? No. There we go. Now watch this. Oh, it's one of these. No more? No more. Yeah, that was it. Okay, very interesting. I'll go this way now, because it seems the main way to be the main way to go. Oh, this girl. What happened? Uh, no, like, what happened? I got a beast, beast core, though, which usually didn't happen. Thanks for the ranking bonus.
Save data, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was weird. I don't exactly know what to make of that. But sure, next mission. Didn't they? <sighs> it sure took him a while to find this place. Oh, you have arrived, son of Sparta. You knew him? Oh, yes. We are the guardians of. This land, Vidumali. Our clan once fought against the demons with Sparta, son of Sparta. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed our land into a demon's paradise. His name is Arius. And although he is the president of an international public corporation, he uses the demon power. Please, deal with Arius and his master for us. Looks like it's your lucky day. Wonderful! I am very pleased. It leads to a harbor. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father. Son of Sparta. All right. Very well then. That felt weird, but interesting. Mission two: the aerial heart will give the hunter the chance to reach the skies. Guidepost for the hunters, chapter one, clause eight. Power up is now an option, but I still don't have enough. I would technically have enough for um, a consumable. But I don't think I want to get that just yet. Maybe a blue orb, right? But I don't. I'm not losing any much HP yet. We'll probably upgrade our sword and then our gun. Actually, no. I might just upgrade our guns right away. And guns. I don't know. I have to wait. Anyways, mission start. Oh, a tomb. A guard that protects the silence of the underground tomb. You must defeat it. Wow. Breakable door. Another breakable door. It seems it'll be, still be a reoccurring thing around here. Don't worry. Nothing up. Go this way. Okay, take this door maybe. Oh, it seems like there's side paths, so I'm, I'll take them because I want every red or red or buff I can get. I can get. No, oh, it's one. It's one of these. Yeah. Nice. Getting quite a bit from this one. Yeah. Reached 4,000 from it. Oh. It opened up this place. Little bats. Little fire bats. Oh gosh. Okay. Little fire bats. No, 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 no. Actually, I don't. 
I don't want to go there just yet. Okay, enemies no longer respawn when you re-enter rooms, which is different for sure. I'm gonna go over here. Let's see what this is. It opens up that too, I see. So it just opens up the area. I guess that could be helped. No, this is this doesn't open up the other area. What is this then? Oh, breakable floor with rewards. Blue orb fragment. Thank you very much. I will take that. Very useful. Already had two orb fragments. I'm gonna probably get a blue orb by next video. So what is this now? Anything on the walls? Nope. Another door. But I'm guessing I can't continue. Light a blue flame. And then the way would be, will be open. Excuse me? I'm just supposed to be breaking these and it turns the like flames blue on the left here. And now on the right, I think. I just have to break like a couple of them. Two more. That's it, right? That's all. Yep. The hand is still a thing, though. So that's nice. The hand blocking the doors. Where are we? Oh shit, this is fucking creepy. I don't like it. There's a flight block, a flight blockade in front, so I know that's definitely the way to go. Another blue fragment, but an enemy. Savage golem. Okay. Oh, I'm cutting him in, him in bits. Okay, that's cool. Bingo. He's dead. That's nice. I was like destroying his body. Also, my ch devil trigger doesn't save from mission to mission. Oh, the ground fell. Another fight? I'm always itching for a fight, so that's perfect. Ah! Shit. Pyro Master. Gosh darn Pyromancer. What's behind door number two here? Nothing, it just opens the other place. Oh, this is a weird thing, right? They're like locks. So that closed off where I could go before. It was like a decision thing. I could go there before it closes it off. And now that it's done that, I can go this way. Oh, shit! Kill all of them. There we go. Now this opens up something else, right? Yeah, over there. Now it's gonna be over there. It's another pitfall because I don't see anything else. Very interesting. Or Pyromancer. No, there is something. There is also a pitfall though. There we go. Oh, savage golems. You destroy them. Um. 
Break into little pieces. Give me your red orbs. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's how to continue? I actually thought I was doing optional stuff. <laughs> He's just making backflip everywhere. Pretty much freedom of movement. I'm not gonna upgrade anything. I'm just gonna keep on going. Okay, I'm blocked in with enemies that are quite simple. Okay. What's with these? No clue what that does. What does it do? What does it do? Oh, it fills my devil gauge. Well, that's quite easy then. Okay, that's it. Oh, never mind. Gonna have to go fight the flying goat man, the goatling. Flying Goatling, come down here. Okay, he didn't want to come down, I just had to kill him. Now the power of the barrier is off. Like in the other games, but you didn't need a sigil. Or not, in the other game actually, because I've only played one. Aerial heart. Magic stone with the heart of a flying demon bird. Can I fly now? Yes. Can I have life? Thank you. What a nice... What a nice folk just like giving me this. How do you descend? How do you ascend? Oh, you press A like you're in Flappy Bird. Oh, that was the end. Okay. I gotta probably B rank, yeah. Item used. That's a ranking now. God damn. Okay. Well then. Save data, and I think I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, I feel like this is a great stopping point. I'm not sure if I'll have time for an entire other mission. So yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow.